guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a really quick review on Linda Hallberry Cosmetics. I recently picked up some items from them after they launched their new Metallic Mysteries palette and I thought you guys might have your eye on some of these products. So I wanted to review them really quick for you guys in case they had a holiday sale. So one of the first items I picked up and I was so interested in is her eye crayons. These are so cute. They're called like mood crayons. And so the green one's calm mood, happy mood. Um, we have cool mood, likable mood, and anger mood. So gorgeous. Honestly, I really like these pencils. They are very creamy. If you guys want to see some more like avant-garde looks you can create using these eye pencils, you guys should definitely follow Linda Hallberry on Instagram. She posts a lot about these. These do retail for $45 and I got a kit. It's like the colorful one. They have like neutrals and stuff, but it says... Uh, Mood Crayon Kit is back in a totally new packaging, beautiful enough to be used as interior in your makeup station. So true. We've also redesigned our crayons so that you easier can find the shade you're looking for and made the kit completely vegan. So these are vegan, which is great. Um, some of the wording on here isn't like the best, like now that I'm reading it out loud. Somebody definitely needs to spell check this or like make sure the grammar is right. But anyway. By removing the purple Daring Mood Crayon and adding the red Anger Mood Crayon, you can enjoy our award-winning crayons and be proud that your new crayons are 100% vegan. These five colorful multi-use crayons are made for every mood and every day. Use them on eyes, lips, brows, or body. You are the creator. They have a creamy formula, that, which is so true, that turns smudge proof within a few minutes. Believe us, we've tried to rub it off. Want to blend? Be quick. It sets to a water resistant finish after just a few minutes. So I really like these 45 bucks for five of them. So that is a really decent price point. I definitely want to place another order and get more of these, but for now I am good. And so that is my thoughts on the mood crayons. And then I did pick up the Metallic Mysteries 2 palette by Linda Hallberg. This sucker caught my eye. I was so obsessed with it and I wanted to try one of her eyeshadow palettes so I did decide to pick this one up. Now I do want to go on her site and kind of read you guys the description on the palette. This one is still available on her site and it does retail for $59 so this is definitely pricey. Like this is more expensive than the mini palettes by Pat McGrath. So keep that in mind <laughs> when people are always talking about how expensive Pat McGrath is. So. This says, form from the brightest star, soaring through the, no through the northern sky, leading down to the southern constellations, colliding together in one amazing palette. Metallic Mysteries 2 brings you four intense shadows that will leave you breathless. Metallic Mysteries 2 palette contains four intense metallic shades that can be used wet or dry on eyes, lips, face, body, and hair. No rules, no limits. You are the creator. So I love that about Linda Hallberry. I love that she has those Infinity palettes. I really want the Infinity Deep, but I'm going to try and wait on that unless she has like a sale or something. Now these palettes look stunning on her. I've seen her do looks with these. She's got really beautiful photos of this palette on her eyes on Instagram and YouTube and stuff like that. I don't know if these just look better on lighter skin tones, but on my skin tone, I wasn't that blown away to be very honest with you guys. I think it's a beautiful palette. I think the shades are beautiful, but it's a $59 worth. Definitely not in my opinion. So I've worn all of these shades on my eyes. Very beautiful. Mel Thompson did a look with this palette. It looked gorgeous on her. But for me, with my very average makeup skills, I felt like it was maybe just okay. Like definitely nothing to write home about. A lot of people compare, I think this formula, her metallic formula, to the Pat McGrath formula. I think this is definitely more of a sparkle with a very sheer base, so you can definitely use this as a topper, but I don't really feel like this is very comparable to the Pat McGrath formula. I did pull out my Pat McGrath palettes because I do have them, most of them, and I do have all the big ones, and like this palette has this green shade, so let me just show you guys the Pat McGrath green versus the Linda Hallberry green. As you can see, Linda Hallberry is on top, Pat McGrath is on the bottom. I just feel like there's so much more dimension to the Pat McGrath shadows and they're just much more vibrant. And these ones, 
just looked so average on me. I feel like if you saw me wearing this, you would never think it was the Linda Hallberry palette, especially compared to the looks she was creating. And it could just be that my skill level is not that great. I have no problem admitting that. I don't claim to be like a professional makeup artist or anything. I just love makeup. I love reviewing it. Just an average Joe trying to uh, make makeup videos. But yeah, so this is the red from the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction Temptation, the number five palette, the big palette. And I just think Pat McGrath shadows are much prettier. The Linda Hallberry ones are okay. If I were to rebuy this, I would not buy this. Because it's just, I think it's a little bit overpriced for four shadows. So consider yourselves warned. <laughs> I don't have anything against Linda Hallberry. I think she is so, so talented. But if it were my money and I was giving you advice, the Mood Crayons, very fun, very unique product. But the palette, not so impressed. She does have some other eyeshadow palettes. So maybe those are a little more pigmented and vibrant. But the one I tried, I was not very impressed with. So I just wanted to come on here and give you guys my two cents. Let me know your thoughts on some of the palettes you've tried maybe from her. Or if you are planning on trying Linda Hallberry in the future. I would be very curious to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome holiday season. And I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys.